Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. Today we're going to learn how to install the Python plugin for NetBeans. To follow along, all you need is NetBeans installed. So let's begin. First, open up your NetBeans IDE and go to the plugins under tools plugins and you can search for under available plugins search for python and then you can install it you can read the license yeah, i'm okay with the license and just follow the, ins the instructions there once this is completed you will need to restart your netbeans ide and then you'll be able to use Python. Now I can create a Python file or a project. So I'll create a Python file just to show you that it does work. The reason I prefer to create a project is because then you can use the compiler just to to run your programs just clicking a button or using the shortcut. But as you can see, the syntax for Python is working. You can zoom in and zoom out as you want. As I said, I prefer to create a project instead. And I'll just leave the default names. And then you see this is, uh, it comes with a uh, sample file and you can see I can simply run it, execute it and the result will be right in the terminal or the output window. So this is preferred. You can zoom in. Um, just zooming in so you can see better. Now, of course, uh, if you want to learn Python, I do have a learning Python course at ojumboshop.com. You can purchase it. It's a one-time fee. Remember, there's a promo code school s h s c h o o l until the end of 2024. So if you log into your account, once you have purchased it, you go to paid content and you pick the course. It automatically remembers the last chapter section you visited. So here uh, when variables, this is the tutorial, second part of the tutorial for today. We'll learn how to use Python variables. So you can use the web ID or you can use your favorite text editor or ID. In this case, it's NetBeans, which is an external one. I already have Python 3.12 installed. So this is a comments. We have done comments in the previous uh, tutorial. Python is pretty simple. You just type the name of the variable and to declare it and you, the type is automatic after you put the equal sign or symbol. So again, I put a comment. That's the string type or str. And for age, it will be the integer or int. And then height will be a float. I'll also create a Pascal case type of variable. All it is is that each uh, each letter or each each word is capitalized, and then you can also declare multiple variables at once and assign a single value to them. So in this case, the fruit and color are set to red, which is the same one as cat terrible spelling then we can display the output of the variables and just run the name just print name or print one each so you can see the difference so that one just prints the name and then you can use a comma if you want to print multiple variables then you can also use the assignment operator 
to print multiple variables uh, or concatenating them if you if you want. Should have been car. As you can see, it does print everything out as well. Now, if you do not wish to use this as NetBeans, if you don't have an IDE or a text editor, or you want to install Python, you can also use the web IDE in the course. I'll just do a simple here name a variable which is a string or str, and we can print it out. and that's the result so if you wish to learn python you can grab the learning python course at ojamboshop.com that's ojamboshop.com slash learning hyphen php remember that you can get 20 percent off until the end of 2024 by using the promo code school s h s c h o o l thank you